so good evening uh, friends uh, welcome back to the class of operating systems especially uh, main memory concepts uh, see uh, remember these two chapters that is main memory and virtual memory are very very important for uh, for you uh, okay because you are a computer science student you have to thoroughly understand these two chapters okay you you go for any gate coaching or if you're planning to appear for some gate exam or uh, many uh, some okay other even campus interviews also you will be getting many questions on these two chapters so you have to study them uh, really seriously okay so uh, let us uh, understand this uh, i think last time uh, we were here because of lack of time i may be uh, i cannot teach like uh, in the class i mean th in in the classroom so since because i am making only 10 minutes video if you wish i can make 30 40 minutes video but i don't think uh, it will be appropriate because the moment i see the length of the video i don't feel like to watch it okay even it happens with me so uh, so let us understand now we understood what is a page and what is a frame so so here so a new process so new process is desired divided into four frames page uh, sorry four pages page 0 to page 3 so totally currently there are five free frames you can see here so there are four pages and there are five free frames you can see here again uh, you could see these are the free frames okay the, the frames which are uh, displayed in gray color are free and the the frames which are displayed in uh, bluish color are already occupied by some other information or some other pages so you can see here now page in so page 0 is 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 allocated frame 14 page 1 is allocated frame 13 page 2 is allocated 18 3 is allocated 20 so go here so go to page uh, sorry frame number 14 so you will get page 0 you go to frame 13 you get page 1 you get you go to frame 18 you get page 2 yeah then you go to frame 20 you get page 3 so earlier four pages five free frames now out of four free frames four have been allocated to this new process so currently only one free frame is left now okay in the system so how to implement a page table okay page table is also kept in the main memory remember this page table is also kept in the main memory you have to understand okay as the memory size increases the page table size also increases so you have to remember this for example if you have only 2 gb ram then uh, the page table size will be less okay if you have 8 gb ram then page table size will also increase because you are going to divide okay the physical memory into okay uh, blocks okay equal sized blocks and you call them as frames okay so currently earlier days uh, there used to be a frame size of or okay when i say freeze a frame size or a page size both are same so if the page size is 500 and earlier days 12 bytes now it has gone up to 4 mb okay 4 mb so if you have a 4 gb ram and one page okay one page is of 4 mb remember you have 4 gb ram 4 gb ram in the in the sense around uh, 4000 something mb so if you divide that by 4 so there will be 1024 pages 1024 pages or frames so to maintain this you have to have a page table so uh, may, uh, again this page table has to be kept in the memory so base table uh, sorry page table base register it points to the page table okay that base address of the page table and page table length register that is ptlr indicates the size of the page table what is the problem with this scheme is every time okay first uh, uh, the cpu has to find out where exactly the page table is located in the memory 
again it is a one more burden on on the cpu first thing is it has to find exactly where is the page table okay where, what is the base address of the page table then you have to look out for that particular free frame okay so so this is this scheme it requires two memory accesses okay so this is the disadvantage of okay this page table so to avoid that what uh, uh, they thought of coming with a translation look aside buffer in short they call it as a tlp okay or you can also call it as a associative memory okay so this this tlbs help to reduce this problem of two memory accesses so using tlbs you can use only one memory access okay you can use just using one memory access you will get the required frame numbers so okay uh, some tlb store address space identifiers you call them as assets in each tlb entry uniquely identifies each process to provide address space protection for that pro process otherwise need to flush at every context switch so whenever the cpu switches from one process to another process the whole the contents of the tlb has to be okay what what has to be flushed i mean the whole table has to be refreshed again so tlb is usually typical uh, typically of small size only 64 to 1024 entries on a tlb miss suppose whatever um, okay page you are looking for is not available in tlb we call it as a tlb miss then again if then again if there is a tlb miss then we have to go to the page table and find the required okay uh, what is that um, frame number so replacement policies must be considered some entries can be wired down for permanent fast access we will see what is the meaning of wired down means so if if uh, the user process is continuously accessing the same page numbers again and again and again and again so what what can be done they can be stored permanently wired down means uh, so we know what is a cache memory so if if you are referring to the same memory locations again and again so uh, temporarily they are stored in cache so to fast up the process so this is a similar concept here so this is associative memory so you you can see here page number and associative associated frame number this is very very easy address uh, translation we know what is a process a page p is an associative register get frame hash out otherwise get frame from the page table in memory so you, you will understand so cpu generates <coughs> the logical address so this is a okay page number so first rather than directly going to the page table uh, till now we were doing that now we don't go directly to the page table what is the problem here first you have to find where exactly is the page table is located in the main memory again you have to spend one okay uh, okay one memory address uh, to uh, that uh, access time uh, is is wasted here so instead of that you go so it is something like a cache memory okay it's a hardware mem straight away i go here okay that page number is is already available yes if it is available directly get the frame number it is called as tlb hit means hit means that corresponding page number is already available in the tlb that is why it is plb hit then we know what is this offset so add frame number with the offset and go to that particular physical address suppose if that correspond i mean that page number what we are looking for is not available in tlb then go to so then we have to go to page table find out the corresponding frame number then so this is called as a tlb miss hope you understood this uh so we will say what is the effective access time so associative lookup is equal to epsilon time unit so it should be, it should be less than 10% of memory access time so meaning of associative lookup in the sense uh, 
the time we spend on uh, the TLB miss okay we have to associatively go to the page table associative means some additional okay uh, so hit ratio is alpha so hit ratio is nothing but percentage of times that a page number is found in the associative registers okay so out of 100 times if 80 times we find it in the TLB itself so 80 percent is the hit ratio so that is what is alpha is equal to 80 percent so this associative lookup time is 20 nanoseconds for TLB search and uh, 100 nanoseconds for memory access okay so just try to imagine just 20 nanoseconds for TLB search however 100 nanoseconds for memory access so so effective access time is equal to 0 0.80 into 100 plus 0 0.20 into 200 so totally is equal to 120 nanoseconds so uh, memory protection uh, valid invalid bit okay so uh, you can have a uh, for every page number you can associate you one valid invalid bit so valid indicates that the associated page is in the process's logical address space and thus it is a legal page means that that particular page belongs to that process okay if it is invalid it indicates that that particular page does not belong to that process okay it it it, it may belong to some other process for example you could see here there are six pages associated with one process and there are how many eight free frames okay so if uh, initial if you in the page table you can see page 0 is uh, allocated frame 2 1 is allocated 3 2 4 3 7 4 8 5 9 so 1 so up so that from 0 to 5 that's it the remaining six and seven it these two pages belong does not belong to this process that is why these two uh, are uh, you can see i and i it indicates invalid bits and remaining all are valid bits similarly you can see a zeroth page is is allocated frame number two so page zero is allocated to frame number two thank you we will continue in the next uh, video thank you